Hot two key issues surface on the presidential campaign trail today. Abortion and the economy. Vice President Kamala Harris makes a trip to Pennsylvania to promote abortion, while President Biden travels to the Midwest to promote jobs. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Today, President Joe Biden flew to Racine, Wisconsin, where Microsoft is building a $3.3 billion AI data center creating jobs. And the president hopes that will translate into votes come this November in a state where four of the past six presidential elections have been decided by less than a percentage point. President Joe Biden leaves Washington, D.C. to hit the campaign trail, not stopping to talk to reporters. His destination, Racine, Wisconsin. That's where former President Donald Trump lauded the plan by Taiwan-based electronics giant Foxconn to build a $10 billion manufacturing facility that was supposed to eventually employ 10,000 people, except it was never completed. Now Biden says Microsoft will help fill that void. It's all part of Microsoft's broad plan to build an artificial intelligence ecosystem right here in Racine. And it's going to be transformative, not here, just here, but worldwide. President trying to convince voters in the crucial swing state where polls show a tight race that his economic policies are better. My investing in America agenda is fueling historic boom and rebuilding our roads and bridges, developing and deploying clean energy revitalizing American manufacturing and so much more. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris travels to another swing state, Pennsylvania, continuing her push for abortion. Do you not trust women to know what is in their own best interest? You, some, oh. some legislator in some state capital, the majority of whom are not women? The vice president will also hammer home the issue in D.C. tonight when she speaks to members of the pro-abortion group Emily's List. Susan B. Anthony, pro-life America, pushes back. We want to protect the unborn. We want to support their moms. SBA's Katie Glenn Daniel earlier told us she wishes President Biden would follow his faith. Look at what the Catholic Church, of which we are both members, says about this issue. Our church could not be more clear that every single child's life is worth living. Now back to that president's to the president's trip in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin's recent presidential primary, 18,000 more Republicans than Democrats voted. Meanwhile, President Biden's top contender for the Oval Office, Donald Trump, who won Racine County back in 2020, will see his trial in New York resume tomorrow. The former president was back in Florida on his day off from that trial, the first of his four criminal cases to reach a jury. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.